Hello everyone and welcome to my stamp studio. My name is Beth Maxwell and I, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in southeastern Wisconsin. Um, sorry, a post just popped up on my screen. I was expecting it. Uh, so tonight is our third week, I can't believe it's the third week already, of our birthday class series. And we're going to be making fun, fun, four fun cards. Oh, say that once, just even kind of fast. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little out of sorts today. So um, <laughs> I'm going to try to make this as best as I can. I, I had the projects all prepped and everything, and um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. So. <laughs> We'll see how this goes. Um, <clears throat> I'm just kind of cleaning up my desk a little bit here because I was doing stuff earlier and I um, I wasn't prepared to go live. <laughs> I, I mean, I knew I was going live. I just, I don't know. I didn't clear my desk off like I normally have it cleared. So when I start the live, I have everything where I need it to be. And yeah, that is definitely not the case tonight. Um, so I just need to get my Facebook page up here on my computer. As you can see, it's been um, a busy, busy, busy here in the studio. I am preparing for our week, our, our BOGO sale. And where in the world is my... Oh, please. I'm not getting to my page here where my... There it is. Okay. So let's see if we... Can you say hi and let me know that you're here so I can actually get to my comments and my feed and everything. And if you hear something in the background, well, Cooper is feeling better today. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, my, my volume's see, on. It's been uh, a busy, busy, busy. Okay. All right. Oh, my goodness. I just realized how badly my studio looked in back of me. <laughs> I've been going through all of my older stamp sets and guys and everything getting ready for our BOGO sale which will be in person on July 15th uh, here at my house and then I will be taking it online on Sunday so I'll kick off a little bit of a live video on Sunday um, I haven't decided quite what time yet but I will before Tuesday because um, yeah it will be fun um, I'll show you some of the things that are online I'll explain how the BOGO works it's actually really easy so um, on my Facebook page, you will find it's a special group called our BOGO group. Uh, if you're on my email list, I'll be sending out a link to that Facebook group so you can join it if you haven't already joined. But on there, I will have pictures and a little bit of detail on all the different stamp sets and things that I have. Um, and there will be a price value on each of those different things. And then you decide what items that you would like and you just say, you know, you put your name and sold, and then uh, what you would do is, let's say you picked out $100 worth of my stash, then you go to my online store, you place a $100 retail order, and after that, I will send you an invoice for the shipping, and I will ship you the $100 of product from my stash that you selected, and so you'll be getting like $200 worth of goodies. Now, on top of that, I don't know, Stampin' Up! must have been known I was planning this because they're offering bonus days right now. So what is a bonus day, you ask? Well, Stampin' Up! Um, all through the month of July is offering $5 for every $50 you purchase. So for the BOGO, if you're going to get $100 worth of my stash and you place a $100 order, Stampin' Up! is going to give you two $5 coupons and they'll be emailed to you and you can use them in August. So what's great about that? Well, number one, we have new online exclusive products. And one of them I'm so excited is a little pickup truck. It's a Christmas set. So we'll be doing a Christmas in July class too. Um, I think I'm going to have that on the 15th as well. So you can come and do some Christmas cards, shop the BOGO sale. Um, yeah, it should be fun. So I'll be getting that out in the next day or two. Um, I just kind of decided on it. <laughs> I put my order in today, so I'm getting all the supplies for that. And I just want to make sure I can get everything before I actually announced it. So, but the order is in. It's being packaged up right now. It should be sent out tomorrow. So, yay. All right. Also, there are new clearance products on the clearance rack. Um, all Anything that's on the online store all qualifies for... Uh, the bonus coupon. So, if you spend $50 in my online store, 
you get a bonus coupon from Stamp It Up. And if you purchase during the BOGO event, which will be online from the 16th through the 8th, I think I want to do it through the 20th, so from Sunday to Thursday. I'm going to wrap it up then, and then I will email out everyone's invoice. You do have to pay for the shipping, because I'm giving you all this stuff for free. You do have to pay the shipping for me to send it to you. I will give you the least expensive way of shipping it to you, unless you tell me otherwise. So, um, but I can give you the prices of that, and then you would pay me uh, via, we'll do it, PayPal friends. Uh, and I'll have all that information in the email that gets sent to you, your invoice that gets sent to you. Um, yeah, then you pay me and I ship everything out to you. I throw some extra goodies in there. So, yeah, yay. All right. Uh, so check your emails. I did send several out today. Sorry, my eye is starting to water for some reason. Uh, I did send several emails out today uh, about the BOGO, the bonus day, and also the... Um, so refreshing class and I'm just pulling those class projects out right now so this is the some of the projects that you will see so this is our class to go and there's gonna be a little treat box in here um, and that class to go is $41 for a porch pickup or 49 49.50 it's either 49 or 49.50 I have to look back at my email uh, if you want it shipped to you so Yes, yeah, so you're going to get $28 worth of product in it. So it's a bigger package for you. Um, the reason being is there are um, one of the packs of ribbon that I'm giving you is not just one bolt. It's actually three bolts. It's the sheer ribbon. So it's lemon lolly, bubble bath, and azure afternoon. So you're getting that. You're getting rhinestones. You're getting a half a pack of um, Suttles designer series paper. So yeah, lots of fun things in there. All right, so let's get started. We are going to be doing our birthday class tonight. I did switch up things a little bit. I switched around one of the stamp sets um, because I got a new one in, and I just thought it was adorable. I'm just looking to see where I put my finished card. Here we go. Okay, I have three of them right here. I don't know where my fourth one went, but that's okay. I know what it is, and I can wing it really fast. I'm going to flip my camera down, so if you get dizzy, close your eyes. I'll let you know when to open them. Okay, you can open your eyes now. All right. <clears throat> and again, if you hear things in the background, it is my dog. He's feeling better today. His tummy ache went away. His tummy ache went away, but I got a tummy ache. I don't know how that happens. But, okay. <laughs> I guess it's like a kid, right? All right. So, let's get started with our first card. I have decided to use a set called Construction Zone this week. So, I'm just changing it up a little bit. It's a really cute stamp set. Now, whether you're a kid... Or, you know, any guy would like this, too, to tell you the truth. I'm going to be making this as a um, birthday card for my son. So this is the card we'll be making. I thought it would be a great way, since the last couple weeks we really focused on using designer series paper in our cards. This week, we're going to totally focus on birthday. It's a birthday week class. But we're going to make our own designer series paper. Um... I'm going to do my best not to pull in any designer series paper. Uh, I will have to modify our fourth card because I, I actually had paper in it. I don't know why, because I knew I was planning on not doing that. But, yeah, I, I when I made the card, I put designer series paper on it. So uh, I'm not going to show you that one. Uh, we'll just be making it right from scratch. Okay. I'm just going to find my card here. Where did it go? There it is. All right. Okay. So let's get started on this one. I have bits and parts out from all the different cards we're doing. I'm going to be using a piece of our glittered organdy ribbon. Now, this is not in the catalog, but you can order it online. So, I'll give you the item code for this. Oh, and I do have a host code. And I forgot to completely write it down. So, let me just grab... Let me just grab a piece of paper here, and I'll write the host code down so that's at the top of our screen while we're doing stuff. Uh, if you place a order, a $35 order, in my online store from June 6th, or June, July 6th through, um, what was my date? July 14th, uh, you will get this class for free. So, sorry, I'm distracted. I'm trying to find a piece of paper 
or cardstock that I can write this on. And okay, we'll use this. Okay, so here we go. Host code, host code. Where are you? Where's my marker? Ooh. Okay, I need to really actually clean my clean my desk area here. It's kind of a hot mess. I've been doing quite a few things and I forgot to pick it up. Which is gonna be after the video tonight. We'll be we'll be clearing this stuff out. Okay, did I write this down in my book? No, I did not. Okay. Hold on for just a second while I get our host code. Um, sorry. What did I do with it? Okay. Now there is, I believe, a link in the description of the video. So it should be there. Um, but our host code for tonight is P as in Paul. Six. U as an umbrella, V as in Victor, S as in Sam. This is a really good one. Zebra, zebra, umbrella. Okay, so that's our host code. I know, really easy to remember. I don't come up with these Stampin' Up! Auto generates them. So <laughs> let's just see. I'm going to go back to my screen here and see if I put it right up here. Is it still visible? Oh, okay. Right, just trying to make it still visible and yet still have my workspace. Okay, there we go. All right, so you can go to my online store. There's links all over the Facebook group uh, for the online store. Okay, if you're watching this video on YouTube, uh, I will put that in the description. So don't worry, there'll be a link. The link will have the host code already embedded in it. So all you do is have to click on it and you'll jump right there. Oops. That's not the card we're doing. Sorry. Put the wrong one up. Here it is. We're going to put that right up there. I'm going to get a piece of real red. Now, all the measurements will be on the PDF that I sent to you for this class. So I do have a piece of real red. Eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of <coughs> coastal coral, sorry, coastal cabana, which is four by five and a quarter. I have a scrap piece of daffodil delight. I went ahead and die cut um, using our nested layers stamps uh, dies here. So I die cut this rectangle, so the stitch rectangle, and then the next one down. And the other one that I do have to die cut for the project is going to be this, and we're going to do that in basic white. So let me just get a scrap of basic white. Now, all of this will be included in your class kit, so don't worry. You won't have to do these dies. <clears throat> and let's just... Will that fit? Oh, just barely. <laughs> all right. So our little plate here is only like three and a half inches wide. So I've got a piece that's just, oh, maybe a little tad bigger, but it just fits. So let me just get this all lined up so I can get this die cut for us because we will be needing that. And Cooper, if you're going to do that, please go out in the other room. No one wants to hear your panting. He's all excited. He's playful today. I mean, the last two days he was like not doing anything. He was just laying around. I know some of you, some of you all don't like dog stories, but... You know, he's like our second child, or our third child, I should say. Okay, so there we go. Let's get started with our stamping. We can put these pieces aside. And we're going to go ahead and stamp, as you can see, a little um, forklift. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> Don't remember what. Oh, I lost my marbles. Okay. Found them. We're all good. Let me just put these dies away so I don't misplace them. All right. Um, and I've got my... I don't need my mouse here, so let's move that somewhere else. I don't need my calculator here either. Okay. I need my stamp and scrub there is what I really do need. And I don't need this. So let's just... Good toss, Beth. Ooh, it stayed right where it's going to be. I am also pulling in some stamp and white markers. So I will be using Daffodil, Real Red, and Coastal Cabana. And I am going to be using my Stazon ink. And then for the embellishments for this particular card, I'm using classic matte dots. 
So I'm taking a mixture of the gray and the black. All right, so I'll just put that there. All right, let's get stamping. I do have my stampin' scrub here as well with my stays on cleaner because stays on needs a little bit of a different cleaner. Um, and you want to make sure that you clean your stamps as soon as you're done using them because stays on will stays on. All right. All right, so this is a brand new set. I just recently got it. As you can tell, I almost, I only like put the labels on the things that we're going to be using tonight. And bear with me just a moment. It got really warm in here. I just need to change, put my fan on. Let's see. There is a light that, a window that faces the west, and that sunlight is just beating in here. All right. Let's stamp our little forklift here. And I decided <coughs> to do this on Daffodil Light. I want to make sure that's really inky here. Because I just, I was trying to avoid coloring on this card. I really didn't feel like coloring. However, I ended up coloring. Because I felt like the balloons just needed to have something. So let's cover up our ink pad here and put that aside. We'll be bringing that out again. Oh, can I clean on the right side? There we go. Okay. Uh, I just need to fussy cut this out. So let's get that piece done. So I'm just going to make this easier to cut. And instead of coloring in the wheels, I just went ahead and added one of those classic matte dots in the wheel. Oh, I must have had my hand wet. Oops. Well, okay. I need to stamp that over. My hand was, had some of the cleaner on it. So, kind of started running my ink here. Let's stamp this one right over here. There we go. Good enough. All right, let's try that again. Okay, so where was I? Oh, I was talking about the wheels here. So I'm not going to color in the wheels. I'm going to use the classic matte dot as kind of like the hubcap. Well, I know it's not really a hubcap, but you know, you all know what I mean, right? Alright, I just thought this was a really adorable set. And as my kids got older, I really didn't buy kid sets anymore. And I thought, you know, I really need to. So I would gotten a little monkey stamp set and I had so much fun with that. I was like, you know, I'm going to keep buying some kid sets because, you know what, I do have kids to do things for. So, alright. Uh, and I'm just leaving a little bit of the yellow around. There we go. So it wasn't too bad to cut out. All right. I'm going to bring this over. Because the next thing that I want to stamp is going to be my little present. So we'll pull that in. I'm going to use my tiny little block here. Now, here's the trick to stamping this one. Uh, I need to grab my pencil, which, what did I do with it? Here it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my little bowl, uh, my little forklift where I want it to be. And then I'm just going to kind of make a little mark here. Okay. That really tells me where I kind of need to try and put, uh, position my little gift. So we'll go ahead and bring our stays on back in and make sure that this gets really inked and I don't have it around my edges. And then I'm just going to look through and kind of hope I got it in the spot I want. Pretty good. All right. So that will dry momentarily. And I'm going to take my little pencil eraser here and just erase that. Stays on, dries very, very quickly. And I'm going to just take my real red marker here and color that in. Now, if you have blends, feel free. If you have watercolor pencils, you are more than welcome to use it. This particular marker is about ready to retire. The tip, while it's really still very juicy, the tip is kind of ruined. I don't know what I did, but I ruined the tip on it. Okay, 
So now I'm going to use some liquid glue and I'm just going to put that right there. Pretty quick and easy, right? Well, hello Becky and Diane and Amy and Judy. And I see some other people watching with us. Say hello everyone. All right. I know it's summer. I know it's sometimes kind of hard to get here. But I will always be here on Thursdays. Thursdays are night, unless I'm on vacation and I can't. Ooh, what was that? That was a glue gripper. Hold on. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to position that first. There we go. And now I'm going to take my little matte dots here and put those right on the wheel. I could use a smaller and a bigger one. I just chose to use two small ones. Okay. Move that out of the way for right now. We're going to go ahead and put this right on top of our red. So I'm just going to add my adhesive right there. Okay. Then on the back of here, now, are my instructions written up the way, the order that I'm going in for the video? No. <laughs> I don't know why I don't do that, but I don't. I think it's just what my brain does. Like, I try to do things in a very logical order when I'm writing the tutorial. Like, I start from the base and work my way up. Today, I happen to be working from the top down. All right. Go figure. Okay. So I've got my Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm not going to peel that off yet. I'm just going to put that aside because I want to do all my other stamping. So I'm going to pull in my scrap piece of paper here. And I'm going to pull in our, you know, I think this is actually a pool party. Is this settles? Okay, so I grabbed pool party. My apologies. I thought it was Coastal Cabana. It's pool party. Oh, that's close to a cabana. All right. Okay, now I have to double check because. Oh, yeah, that's a pool party. This is our coastal cabana. So, okay, we're going to be using pool party. <laughs> I'll have to change that on the instructions. So we've got a real red car base. We've got our pool party, which is four by five and a quarter. Sorry about that. I don't know why I got those confused. I'm going to grab my little um, balloons here. And, oh my goodness, my nails are terrible. Okay. And I'm going to randomly stamp my balloons all over my pool party cardstock here. And I'm going to be coming in stamping with that present as well. So I want to leave a little bit of space here and there for that. Again, I'm just trying to just do some. Okay. If you think you need more, just stop, let it pause, and then do your second image. Then you can always come back and add if you need to. Yep, I thought I did that. Okay. One side of my ink pad seems to be a little more inky than the other. So I'm trying to find the inkier side. Okay. So again, just randomly putting these there. If it's easier for you to turn your cardstock as you go, go ahead and do it. Make it whatever's easiest for you. I just like to get different things. And I'll put the bow right here. I can use something there. And that's good. We're just going to stop right there. Again, if you think you need one more, just stop. Stop, pause, take a look. Okay. I'm going to put these two things aside for the moment. Uh, we'll go ahead and attach our uh, ribbon around there. So I'm just going to take a piece of ribbon and... Over. 
And I know that this is going to sit flat on my card base here, so I'm just going to wrap my ribbon here. The trim. I like to, before I hear the other side, I like to actually make sure I'm in a straight line there. Okay, I'll put that there. And I feel like I need some in my corner here. Okay, come on, roll. There we go. Okay, we'll add this to the card base. Okay. We can add our little rectangle here now. Just like that. Now, let's go ahead and stamp our little sentiment here on our little banner. So we'll be stamping birthday zone. Now, I have noticed this, I don't know, the way they cut this stamp was kind of funny versus how they cut the label. Um, so I know when I stamp mine, I have to stamp further to the right. So find out before you stamp if that's all lined up. So let's say I wanted to have my my birthday zone right there. If I stamp and line up my label, seriously, it worked that time. All right. I'm just going to stamp it. There we go. Um, all day when I was stamping, I was stamping it too far to the left. Now I'm stamping it too far to the right. I give up. <laughs> it is just, I don't know. It's just off just a little bit. So before you stamp your final project, just stamp off on your, you know, scrap paper just to make sure. So what I can do then is on that one, I have the balloons over on the left side or the right side. I'm going to go ahead and put them over here on the right side. I'm sorry, my other right side, my left. <laughs> I originally stamped them on the right. I'm going to stamp them on the left this time. Oh my gosh. And I'm just going to stamp it right above, like the R there. Okay, just like that. So it kind of looks like it's right on here. All right, I can move this out of the way. I can take out the scrap, close the red. And I'm just going to put these stamps away right away. Because we don't need them out. Although, what do you think of this stamp set? Isn't it cute? I just, I love it. So, I'm going to have, I'm going to have to play around and make some more cards with this. Well, that'll have to be after my bogo. Or maybe while I'm sitting, kind of watching my bogo. So, I do work next week. Um, I'll be checking my emails and all that stuff and watching the the Facebook page throughout the day um, and what I'll have you do is just email me as soon as you're done shopping so I can go back and uh, just check for your order and then I will send the invoice okay and actually what I, I'm gonna have you change it up so you put your name on there so you would say like Beth Maxwell and put mine when I verified your order and I'm ready to ship everything, I will put sold. So something isn't actually gone until I put sold. Now I do have some stuff out there right now, but if you post any comments, I'll be removing all comments. So you can't reserve your stuff before the 16th. But I do have to post it out there because it will take me a couple hours to do. So I need to do that ahead of time. Now I'm just going to go ahead and just adhere this flat. I'm not going to pop this one up. I'm just going to put it right like that. And you know, silly me, I was going to make this into a um, gift card holder for you. Hmm, okay. So we'll do that right now. All right. Because we do have to stamp our inside. So we'll move this over. We've got our inside. And I'm going to take some basic white. Here we go. And I'm going to cut a piece that is four by five and a quarter, and that is going to go on the inside. That's five and a half, there's five and a quarter. That's gonna go on the inside for our sentiment. All right. 
Now, I have to get, I don't have a little gift card handy here. <laughs> Do I? Let me see. Koopa, where are my gift cards? Do I have one up here? I don't think I do. I don't think I have any in the room. All right. <clears throat> I have my credit card up here, but I'm not going to show my credit card on Facebook. So I'm just going to measure it really quick back in the background here so that we can get our pocket correct. So this has to measure. So it's about three and a half inches. Let's see. If we do four inches, that will be fine. Okay. Oh, excuse me. All right, so we're going to have... Oh, drop that. I'm going to go ahead and cut another piece of... A strip of... um. I can't think... I can't find my words. I'm sorry. Because I completely threw myself off with this one. But... I'm going to grab a piece of real red here. So, as long as this is four inches, we're good. Yep. Okay. So, then I am going to trim this down to be, I think we're going to go two and a half. Oh, two and a half will be too big. Two and eight, two inches. Oh, two inches will work. <clears throat> so, this is, piece is actually, I don't like how that looks. Hold, please. I'm going to get a different piece. And again, sorry, I it's because I didn't cut my card base right. So I will just have to ad adapt everything in the... There we go. All right. I don't know why I put that there. So I need a piece that is two inches wide by... Five and a half, right there. Okay. Do you put? Yeah, you don't want to have it too much bigger than two inches because you're not going to be able to see your card. So I'm then going to take my circle punch, and it doesn't matter what size circle punch you have. Just grab the one that's handy. All right, and you're going to cut just a little bit out. Okay. Just get it centered there. Pop a little out because that's where your gift card is going to slide. In fact, what I'll do is I think I have a business card handy here. So I'll show you a little bit. <laughs> Wandering around my room trying to find a business card. that nail polish I was looking for. <laughs> okay. I don't have a business card. I don't have a gift card. What is going on in my world here? I always have them sitting up here. All right. That one's somewhere. I know I do. Let's try this little bag here. No. Not in that one either. Well, where in the world do I put everything? I tell ya, life is hard some days. Alright. I just gotta find something that's the shape of a gift card. I don't want, like I said, I don't want to put my credit card on the screen. <laughs> That just would not be a safe move. Hold me there. I'll be right back. Let me go find one. Okay, couldn't find a credit uh, gift card or my business card, but I did find a baseball card. So <laughs> we'll use that. All right, so all we're going to do is just put adhesive here and here. Now, 
when you're doing it this way, it really doesn't matter because your gift card is pretty wide there. Okay. If you're doing it this way, you do have to make sure that you're using very narrow adhesive or liquid adhesive. But since this is going to fold down right here, and it's going to be up like this, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Strong Seal Plus here, and I'm just going to run adhesive along the two sides and along the bottom. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to bump it right up to my fold. And if I cut right, it'll match. If not, I just need to trim it down a little bit. Then I can slide my gift card right in here, just like that. And let's stamp our inside now. And so we did birthday, birthday zone and your loads of fun. So let's get that. It's sticking to me. Let's see, is this it? Nope, that's a pickup. What do I do? Loads of fun and our balloons. Okay. So, here we go. I do need to put my label on because, as you all know, I don't stamp well unless I have my label. Like some other people are really good about it. I'm not. So, I'm going to put my little label on. I like to put it on my clear black first, and then I can hover over my stamp and line it up perfectly. I say that now, and I probably jinx myself. All right, so there we go. Yep, my glasses are causing a glare, so it didn't line up perfectly, but okay. All right, let's go ahead and grab our real red. Just tap on there. I'm going to make sure I don't rock, because I don't want to get red on my edges here. Otherwise, I'll leave that little shadow mark on my card here. So you're loads of fun. And we'll bring back in, back in the stays on and the stamp block. And I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of balloon right here. A balloon right here. And we're just going to go with that. All right. Clean that up. Dry it here put that over there and we'll go ahead and color this in really quick and I'm gonna do it opposite of what I did on the front so I'm just gonna color these and pool party And then we'll do our daffodil. If you didn't have daffodil, you could use crushed curry or any of the yellows. You can use whatever colors you have on hand. All right. Okay. We'll add some adhesive. And then we'll be on our merry way onto our next card. So my envelope, I would stamp just some balloons on my envelope. Maybe some presents going across. And I tell you, I keep getting ink all over my fingers. So, <clears throat> all right. So that is our birthday card. Let's get our little embellishments on the front, and we will be finished with this one. So I'm just going to randomly take some of my little gray ones here and just plop them all over the card front. Kind of where I feel like areas need something. Okay. There we go. All right. So that's our card one. All right, let's move this out of the way. Card one right there. Right there. All right, let's get to our next card. Okay, let's put our stamps away. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the next card and I'm gonna pause just for a couple seconds. Um, that way it helps for people who just want to skim through this really fast when they're watching it on YouTube or the replay. All right. Okay, so that is that one. All right, next card. These are all the pieces for this one. Okay, 
your next card? Where are you? Um. Alright. Next, we're going to do our Happy Birthday Chef. I decided to change this one up a little bit. And instead of doing pizza, he's carrying a birthday cake this time. And let me put this here. So if you spend uh, $50 in my online store using this host code, um, I am going to send you these classic matte dots as the embellishment. I forgot to add embellishments on this one, but I'll show you how it's going to be done. So we're going to be using two stamp sets here. We've got our um, Supremely Awesome stamp set. And then I just realized I used an, I used one of the other stamp sets. So um, let me grab that out. I used Cheerful Daisies. Okay. So I'm going to change, well... I hate to use three different stamp sets on a card. We're going to find something else for the top of the card. I don't want to use three stamp sets. I just want to use the two that I originally planned. So we're doing Supremely Awesome and Something Fancy. I'll have to retake the picture of this one um, and just change it up a little bit. So what we're going to do is I have three strips of cardstock here. Again, I'm trying to avoid using my designer series paper. I just want to use my cardstock. So this is Fresh Freesia. And why am I doing that? Because maybe it's middle of the night and I don't have designer series paper or I use my last piece. So we're going to come up with different solutions. Fresh Freesia, um, Bubble Bath, and Melon Mambo. And what I did with those three pieces is I ran it through one of the basics embossing folder. Now this is a set of three. So it has dots and it has these like, I don't know, pretty flowers. That's what we're going to be using on this one as well. I don't know, flowers, I don't know which one. And then it has this hashtag. Someone told me there were names for them. I can't find the names for them. So, you know, it's going to be the chicken scratch thing. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I've done this already. I will leave this one out because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab a piece of basic black. And this is, you know what? We're going to do the correct card. We're going to do the correct birthday card on this one. So I will change this up in just a moment here. Uh, no, I can't. It won't work with these measurements. All right, I lied to you. I'm so sorry. We're going back to the original design. I feel like I'm a train wreck tonight. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. I'm just... Here I was organized all day today. Okay, I have a piece of basic black. That's five and a quarter by four. I have a piece of black cardstock, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. For some reason, that doesn't look like I cut it right. Well, that is... Right. I'm going to run this through the embossing folder here. And not the embossing, well, the embossing folder and die cut machine. Yeah. Right, so I've got my base plate. I've got my folder. I've got my paper. And I've got my number four plate. All right. Run it hinge side in. All right. And I think I should probably move up. It's so hard to tell. Sometimes when I'm stamping, you can't see as well. But when I bring this guy in, it kind of takes up the whole screen. I don't know. I'm kind of torn on what I should do. Okay. So this is going to just adhere right to here. I am going to use um, my liquid glue for that because this is such a deep impression. Um, I have found that my seal doesn't really hold as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put my liquid glue on. My liquid glue is going to go into all those little nooks and crannies. I'm just going to center that right on there. Now, the class kit will contain all the supplies that you need for the four cards. It won't include your inks, your stamps, and adhesive. You will have to have all of that. 
but all your little bits and parts will be included. All right, let's get our bits and parts to stamp our our uh, chef here. I think it's right here. And I'm going to use my black memento again. Um, actually, this time I'm switching it up. I'm going to use my memento black because I am going to color him in a little bit. I'm just going to be coloring in his face and hands. Now, for this, I don't need to ink up the whole pizza image there. I just really need the guy. And I even need his arm. We're going to be chopping his arm off. He does not need an arm there because he's going to be carrying a cake. So you're not going to ever see his arm. Yeah, I just need to plug this in real quick. There we go. So I've got that. Flip this over and go ahead and stamp him. Give it a good press. There we go. Doesn't matter that I have that shadow. We're going to be trimming that out. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to take my piece of um, Melon Mambo and we're going to just stamp the apron on him. So I don't need to have it fully inked. I just need the apron part uh, because I'm going to cut out that apron and I will cut it out as soon as I find where I put my my little piece of Melon Mambo. Here it is. Okay, and I just have a scrap piece. So you're going to have a scrap piece in your kit. Um, it's not going to be any particular size. It'll be enough for you to stamp it on. <laughs> All right. So with this, I do need to bring in my scrap again. We'll ink this up. And then it, I can use the memento. I can use the stays on. doesn't matter. I just need to really make sure I'm inking the apron. That's all I need to make sure of. All right. So, save myself some paper and I can just ink them, snap them this way. All right. Ta-da! Voila! All right. I was, like I said, I was really trying to avoid coloring things today, too. So, that's part of why I chose to stamp his apron. So, we're going to cut out that apron. I'm going to go right along, right up along the edge of where that black is stamped. The stays on is stamped. Or, okay, I'm going to get an apron string in here. I'm going along the edge because it's going to be glued on to the white one that I stamped. So if I don't have the black lines, that's fine. It will be on that white. But if I do have the black lines there, it'll still work. All right, so on him, we're just going to chop off this arm. We're going to be covering that part of his body up with the cake. So those strips I showed you, we're going to make a cake out of. And originally I had left him all in just white cardstock and I felt like he needs some sort of skin tone so we'll be adding some skin tone I'm going to be using the light um, the light color blends it's more of the flesh tones the skin colors it's the lightest light You can choose whichever skin tone you want. I, um, this original card, I used ivory, and ivory just appeared too yellow to me. Kind of like he has jaundice or something. So I decided that wasn't the route I was going. Okay, let's color his little skin tone here. So the one I'm using is the SU-9000, or the SU-900. So again, that is the lightest skin tone. It's a two-pack. So I believe it's, uh, is it uh, 900 and 1,000 or 800 and 900? Right. All right. And I'm trying not to color on the black. Even though Memento, Memento is meant to be used with the alcohol blends, I have found that sometimes it still bleeds a little bit. So I'll color his hand here. And maybe it's just because I'm not giving it enough time to, to like really set before I color. Okay, so 
We'll have him right here like that. I'm not going to adhere him yet. Oh, I will adhere his apron before I lose it though. So we're just going to go ahead and use our liquid glue here. Get my little edge. Stop. What are you chewing on now? Glad you're feeling better, but you're making a lot of noise during my video. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's make our cake. We can move this out of the way. So we've got our three pieces here. Now, I didn't measure these. I just have, they're three quarters inch wide. Um, I'm going to start with whatever one I want to be on top. So I'm going to start with this one. And I'm just going to trim it. So, let me see. I think I'm going to go a little bit here. All right, once I've got that cut, then I'm just going to round my edge a little bit. Just like that. Because we all know that cake edges aren't square, they're round. So then I'm going to take it to my next piece, which is my melon. And I'm going to trim my melon about a quarter inch bigger. And again, I'm going to round those top edges. Okay, well, that can't round as nice. Okay, then I'm going to lay this one on top of my fresh freesia. And again, go about a quarter inch bigger here. And round off my little top edges. Okay, I've got those three little pieces to throw away. All right, so now this is where the fun begins, trying to get this assembled once these are um, em embossed. Now, those three stirrups I will send to you, and they will be embossed in your kit, so don't worry about that. All right, what we need to do is, I found the easiest way for me to do this was I grabbed some scotch tape. And I just grabbed a small piece. And I flip this over. And I have my bottom covering my top here. So I just flip this over just like that. And put my tape down just like that. Oh, I really did round that corner badly. All right. This gives me a little bit of play. So if I need to move that, I can. Because sometimes those dots just don't line up well. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to grab another piece. And we're going to do the same thing with our pink. Again, we're going to tuck it behind the one. So you want those straight edges kind of tucked in behind those, cor those rounded edges. All right, so this is the back. All right, so now in front, it looks how beautiful. Okay. All right. And that's going to be here. All right. So notice we don't really have to have his arm because it's already hidden. All right. The cake will be popped up on dimensionals. I do need to add my sentiment. So we're going to grab the so uh, something fancy stamp set. I'm going to grab this happy birthday. I'm going to just grab a strip of... One inch strip of, uh, one inch strip, half inch strip of white, and I need my melon mambo here. So I just use my memento and my melon mambo for inks. Right, I'm gonna go in this way. Now again, this one was stamped really high to the top, so I just have to be aware of when I'm stamping that. I probably want to stamp it just a little lower than I normally would. And this one I need to press pretty well. Otherwise, that happens. So let's try the other side. I just don't know why this one is like that either. No one else has had this issue with this stamp set, so I think it's just my stamp set. All right. I just want to make sure that I get this stamped evenly. There we go. Now I did rock mine a little bit only because that edge is so close right there. It felt like it wasn't stamping that edge. What I could actually do is just trim this down and that way just have a much skinnier stamp and that would kind of solve my issue. 
or I just learned to stamp better. Okay, and I'm just going to trim that down just like that. I'm going to be putting it across here just like that. Um, when I first did it, well, I'm trying to find why was I, why was I not happy with this one? I don't know. Okay, I like that side better. Um, when I first did this, I put, used liquid glue. It doesn't work with those bumps because those those little dots are pretty high up. So I'm going to be using dimensional. I'm going to pop this up on a dimensional. Um, but we need to have some sort of decoration at the top of our cake, right? So let's take a look at what we have here. Well, he, we could put, we could do that. Or, let's see, what am I thinking about here? I am going to pull in my daffodil, and then I'm going to pull in my lovely leaves punch. I'm going to slide this in right here, and I'm going to punch my leaves. Okay. Then I'm just going to snip off a couple leaves here. I'm going to snip off some of the smaller ones here. And those are going to be the flames of my candle. You can put one. You can put three. You can put as many as you want. Okay. That one's kind of big. So, you know what? I think we'll just do one. We'll just do one. One single one. All right. And where I cut it kind of funny is actually what I'm going to use is a flame tip. Just like that. But I need a little candle, right? So, I'm going to put this here. And I am going to take just a thin strip of scrap here. So I'll give you a thicker piece. Just trim out. Just make a thin strip. All right. Now, why am I doing it this thin? Because I only want one candle, right? So I'm going to be putting this right behind here. Just like that. When I put my dimensionals on, that's how I'm going to hold this in place. So I'm just going to get that lined up straight. It wants to slide all over there. We're going to grab our dimensionals. I'm going to grab mini dimensionals here. And I'm going to put my mini dimensionals on each of my layers first. I'm going to put one right here. And yeah, I am going to use quite a few dimensionals on here. So, and I'm going to put one here and one here. Okay, <clears throat> so I just kind of staggered those a little bit. All right, so I'll peel off all those backings. Oh, I have to glue my little guy down first, too. He needs to be in place before we put the cake on. So let's get him in here down. Again, I'm going to use liquid glue because the seal just doesn't seem to catch very well. Well, it seems like I'm adding a lot. It's really not that much. It's a really thin bead. And just make sure that he is standing straight. And what you can do is you can take it bottom of here. So while this is sticking to me, all right, we're going to put the cake right here, kind of overlapping them, all right, because we don't want it to be shown that he doesn't have an arm there. In fact, I think we'll move it over just a tad more. Come on. There we go. There, that way it looks like he's carrying it. Um, this right here, I'm going to go ahead and just put my liquid glue right here. And I'll take my flame, and I'm going to put it right there, just like that. We'll take our dimensionals here, and, you know, this edge is a little rough. I'm going to trim this edge off here. I did not cut it with my good trimmer. Cut it with one that has a little bit of a dull blade there, so it didn't 
from it nice and clean. Okay. Now which is the side I'm using? I'll put my dimension shells. One, two, three. Just gonna lay it right on the cake, just like that. This ends a little bit long, so I can trim that down just a tad. Okay, I can trim this one down just a tad too. I want slightly bigger than that bottom cake layer, but not that big. All right, so let's do the inside now. Got these little pieces out of the way, and here's my. Oh, that's only three and a quarter by four. My four by my four by five and a quarter. So let me just trim that again. I use a grant darn darn wrong trimmer. Oh, that is a bummer. Okay, well, oh, rough edge. Okay, so we'll open this up, and we're gonna take this, and I want to stamp a little bit of presents along the bottom so I'm going to pull back in my under construction stamp set and we'll add those presents just like that and I'm going to stamp them in Mellow Mambo instead of stamping them in black and coloring them I'm just going to go ahead and do it in Mellow Mambo so let's just move this out of the way and I'm going to start with one in the middle, and then I'm just going to stagger them on the bottom. No rhyme or reason. I feel like I need one more here. Let me just use that. There we go. Okay. And... And do, 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 do. So we have our happy birthday and then we can stamp grateful for the everyday magic of you. I'd like to be able to stamp it inside too because sometimes I don't feel like writing the inside. All right. And we'll go ahead and it's a really long block. I don't want that one. And I'm going to stamp this in black. Now, if you have a different birthday sentiment set, feel free. Use whatever set you have. Okay. I just thought that was kind of a sweet little birthday card. All right, let's see. Uh, lid, lid, lid. That's what I'm looking for. Put that away. I have too many things lined up at the moment, and it's bothering me. I'm going to get things put away so I can have my table cleared off just a little bit more. So we can be a little more organized when we're stamping our next card. All right, that one's done. Oops, this one didn't get cleaned. Again, if you have a different stamp set that has, you know, doubloons or presents, feel free. I mean, you can even just put a strip of cardstock at the bottom, too, for that matter. And let me clean this one up. And now we've got our monkey card and then our lovely layers card, and we'll be finished. There we go. I need to make sure that all comes off before I put it back in my stamp case. Oh, and happy birthday. Did I get that clean? Okay. Come on. So I have my dies that coordinate with this right inside. I don't want to go too far because I'll be using that stamp set again. As well as this. Oops. And that's just me dropping my little clear blocks in their homes. All right. 
Oops, I should probably adhere this to the inside of my card, hey? That would be helpful. <laughs> I can't send it without that, right? All right. Thank you. All right. So let's go ahead and add some of our embellishments to the front of this one as well. I'm just going to grab my little white ones here and randomly sprinkle them around. Oh, where'd that one go? I lost it. I don't know. We'll just put one there. Okay. Ta da! All right. All right, that was part two. All right. All right, we need to get moving here. I'm moving a little slow. All right, so next card is our little monkey. We're going to be using our um, layering leaves punch, our, our bow punch. And. We'll also be using our cloud punch. Now, I've already punched my cloud, so I'll explain what I did. So, what we're doing for this is... This. And where's my brown? All right. Got several things here. Now, I'm going to be changing out the embellishment from this original card to be the classic band thoughts. So, I have taken a piece of... Well, I got it right there. I've taken three pieces of post-it note. And I punched up my balloon so that I had the sticky part of my post-it note at the bottom there. So we'll be using those three in just a moment. Um, we'll be using a small blending brush and our Azure Afternoon Stamp Pad. All right. So this piece that I have here is the Azure, and it's four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. I have a piece of shaded spruce, which is four by five and a quarter. And then I want to make sure that I had this cut down a little bit. This is three and seven eighths by four by five and one eighth. Three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. It is just a hair smaller than my shaded spruce. I wanted to change up my colors because I was actually kind of tired of using Granny Apple Green. I know it's a shock, right? <laughs> I was kind of surprised myself. I'm like, I don't want to use that green. I want a different green. All right. So, speaking of different green, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and punch out three leaves. Now, when you're punching this, you do want to make sure that because this is your layer behind, don't, don't slide your paper in further than the edge of the punch, all right? So slide it all the way in because you want to make sure that you have enough room um, so that you don't have that cut piece showing. So we're going to punch out three of them here. So way to save your cardstock. Right. You're also going to get another strip, one and a half inch strip, to stamp a couple more. To stamp, punch a couple more. So I'm going to stamp two more. Okay. Punch two more. Hello. Use the right words, Beth. Okay. okay. We're going to be forming a tree with all these branches here. So we'll put those aside for right now. I need to put my base aside, my layer aside. We're going to pull in our three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And I'm pulling in my scrap paper again. Okay. And I'm going to open up my Azure Afternoon. I'm going to put my clouds on. Now this project, every time you do it, will change just a little bit, depending on where you're putting your clouds. So it won't be exact every time, unless you, you know, I'm lining these up perfectly every single time. I have not. All right. Okay. So tip on this, make sure that you hold this piece down. See how it flips up like that? When you are putting your blending brush on there, just make sure that it doesn't flip up. All right. So that's the only piece that you really have to hold. So I'm taking this and I'm just rubbing this along my stamp pad and I'm taking off some of the color here. The reason I'm doing that is because it's so dark that... It's almost too much. All right, so when you get to this piece that doesn't hold down, start on it and go off. That's probably the easiest way to do it. All right, then I'm gonna add a little bit more ink, kind of pound some of that off. And then I start on my outside, so the heavy part is on the outside of my image. All right, so again, pounce off a little bit. Start off your paper and go on. 
Hold that down with your fingers. Try not to get your hand in the stamp pad like I just did. Okay, that's going to be really dark. Okay. Now, there's still some ink on here, so I'm just going to keep going down my paper. I'm going to do, press lightly, brush my brush across that very lightly. Again, I want this to be lighter as I go, almost white by the time I finished. It'll have a little bit of color. It's kind of hard to see, but it will have just a little bit of color by the time you get to the bottom. All right. So. And then we peel these off. Let's see, this for another project. So you can see this one, I got a little bit of cloud, my little bit of cloud in there. But that's all right. If you want to have more clouds, go ahead and layer it again. And you can color in another cloud. It would just be a little darker in some spots. But I mean, yeah, you'll have some like rings in there. Let me show you what it looks like if it's layered. So, do this one. So I'm really just trying to go where the edge of that one is. I don't want to do it too dark, and I don't want to do it across the other ones here. All right? Because then you get another little cloud. So you can keep doing that across. You can even switch your direction here if you want to have one like that. And this is just adding a little bit of color over here. So you can add those like that. <clears throat> All right, up to you on how much you want. Right, so now I'm going to go ahead and start forming my tree. So I'm going to first start by just layering my branches here. I like to layer it out first. In fact, I don't even need this anymore. I like to layer it first um, just so I can get an idea of where they need to be. What I'm looking to do is I am looking to have my the full stem on there but hide the base of my stems underneath a previous leaf. All right. So this one, I'll put that way. And then this one, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So I'm going to put this way and slide this a little bit lower. Just like that. And then I can take another one and put it here. If I need to trim off my stem, I can. All right. So you're just going to be layering it on like that. So the first thing I would do is, you could probably take this one here and add a little bit of adhesive. I'm just going to add it to the lower, I'm just adding a little dot. I think this one hung off a little bit. All right. And where did I have this one side under here? I don't know. Ugh. All right. So wherever that one's going to be, it's going to tell you where your next one has to be, right? Because you're going to be just covering those stems as you go. All right, so I can add this one. If it helps, take a picture with your phone before you lift everything up. But so I just want to make sure I'm covering that. This one. I'm going to tuck under here. I feel like it should go under that one. Right. Now I know it's a little part of my leaf had gotten chopped off, so I'm going to end up probably putting that off to the side. We'll see. I guess not every tree is perfect. So, 
that's when I have this one. So let's go ahead and adhere this one down. There'll be a little bit that I'm going to cut off, and that's totally fine. That's what you're going to have to do. All right, now as long as I can get these two branches covered, we're all good. And maybe that doesn't matter to you. <clears throat> but I kind of like that doing it. All right. There we go. All right. It doesn't matter that I have this little gap here because we're going to be punching a monkey and he'll be right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this over and I'm just going to cut off all the excess shade spruce that's hanging off. All right. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and adhere this to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some liquid glue right in the middle here, but then I'm going to add it to my corners. Because if I add it to the middle of that cardstock, it can gush through onto my work surface. And I'm going to be putting dimensionals on this one to pop it up. missing one. All right. Thanks, Trudy. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, Becky. All right. So I know I did switch up on the stamp sets tonight. What do you guys think of the, um, the, uh, little construction set? I thought it was really cute. All right. <clears throat> so now I'm just pulling out a piece of my Pebble path. Okay. And we'll go ahead and take our black memento and our little monkey set here. We're going to grab out this monkey. Oh, I forgot to stamp my sentiment. So we're going to have to come up with a little change of plans for that one. That's all right. I have it right here. No worries. We're all covered. I'll change it in the directions in the PDF file too. All right, so I'm just going to grab my stays on here. Make sure he gets good and inked up. I'll stamp this one. Now make sure you grab the monkey that will go in the punch. And he didn't want it. Oh, I guess he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. All right. Let me clean this one off. Again, I don't like my stays on to be sitting on my stamp for very long. Now, dimensionals, I don't have to those off, I don't need those. Let's grab our little monkey punch here. And we're going to punch him out. Alright, now, I'm going to just try something. I didn't try this before on my other card, but since we have to change it up a little bit, we're going to give this a little whirl. So I'm going to take my um, SU900 that we use for the supremely awesome pizza pizza card and I am just going to add little chickies here it just I don't know it kind of makes them pop out a little bit more all right so we'll put two dimensionals behind him and then we need to have a birthday hat so go over here I am just taking, I am using a piece of, of um, designer series paper. I do apologize. I wasn't going to. I really tried not to, but I couldn't figure out what to do. So, I just grabbed a true total scrap. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a little party hat. So, let's see. I am just going to... I'm just trying to make a little, uh, I need to go at the same angle here. Just a little triangle party hat. 
we'll go ahead and put a small dimensional behind there. Um, that way it'll fit better. Where to go? You know, I lose my small. I lose my dimensionals every single week. I've got to come up with a better place to put them when I'm doing projects. Uh oh, what was that? I'm stalling here because I'm looking for my dimensionals. Sorry, for there. Okay. One, two. Oh, just make sure your dimensional wall fits on there. All right. So this little dimensional just needs to get on there. Get on the program here. All right, so here's his little party hat. That was a pretty fast card here. Now, originally, I obviously stamped on my card base, but since I went ahead and got eager and attached it to the card base, I have to come up with a little different plan here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Zoo Afternoon and I'm going to grab the sentiment that says, I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. And what we're going to do with that is stamp half on the outside and half on the inside. So let me get my card inside here. What did I do with it? All right. And the inside measures the normal um, four inches by five and one eighth. I'm sorry, four inches by five and a quarter. Where did I come up with five and one eighth? Oh, it's because the inside or the outside was that way. Okay. I tell you, some days. All right. So I have like a three quarter inch strip here. I'm thinking that will work. And I'm going to grab a block. Right. We're going to grab our scotch tape here. And I want to grab a long enough piece that I'm going to tape off the bottom part of my sentiment. And we're going to ink this up. I'm going to peel my tape off. Let's throw that away. I didn't forget your birthday. And I think I just stamped it crooked. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, I hate that. All right, let's just go grab a... Let's see if I can grab this piece back. always remember to peel that piece off before you stamp. You'll be very disappointed in yourself if you do not. All right. And I'm going to clean that really good because I don't want a dirty ink, a dirty shadow on my inside there. All right. Okay. So we have it here. And I didn't forget your birthday. I want to have it at a nice little angle here. So we'll just trim this like this. So a little solution. If you forgot to do that, you can do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ink my edges here. Just want to stand out a little bit more. I'm just taking my... Blending brush. And we'll go ahead and grab some dimensionals. I didn't forget your birthday. Inside. I'm going to do um, our sentiment. So let's grab our scratch tape again. This time we're going to tape off the top part. Alright. We'll ink this up. Peel that off. Make sure I don't have ink on my hand.
Okay. And I'm going to come in now and grab my pebble path again. And I'm going to stamp one more monkey image. I'm going to stamp this one right here. on here, get them all nice and inky. Time to re-ink that. So if you use it a lot and leave it open, what happens is that solvent dries pretty quickly. So this is why I'm not getting a really dark image on there. I could flip it over and stamp it with memento. I've got something on it though. We're just gonna use this. I'm gonna go ahead and just fussy cut it out. I could actually just take it and stamp and color it in, but like I said, I was trying to avoid using any other markers or blends. I know it's a change of pace. But I don't want to always color something. I could leave it black and white, but it could be one of the albino monkeys, I guess. But I mean, this isn't that hard to cut out. All right. So what does everyone have planned this weekend? Anything fun? Are you enjoying summer? Did you have a good 4th of July? We went and watched the parade with my granddaughters and my son. Talked about that a little bit yesterday on hump day lunch break. I was pretty disappointed in what the city had to offer this year. But, okay. And I am just going to glue him down right here. Kind of looks like he's flying in the air, but that's all right. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, right? I mean, who hasn't heard of a flying monkey before? Ever watched Wizard of Oz? Alright, and I just want to make sure I have enough glue like on his limbs so that he stays in place. And the other tip I have when you're doing this, I'm just pressing that down. Leave this dry for a little bit before you put it on the inside of the card. That way, if there's any residual glue anywhere, you're not going to end up with it gluing your card shut. Right. So I'm going to put it over here, but I'm going to leave my card open. Just like that. Okay, we've got our last card to do. All right, so I'm just going to put it up on top there and leave my card open. Oh, I suppose I could add some embellishments here. So, we'll just go ahead and grab... We'll grab the little gray ones again. So I'll put one here. One here. One here. Put as many as you like on there. All right. So, we'll just set it up there. All right, let's get on our next card here. Get some stuff out of the way. And we're changing up colors and stamp set. So let's just get all this moved out of the way. Put the monkeys away. Got a sentiment put away. All right, let's grab our layering leaves. to grab a piece of very vanilla here. Where is my very vanilla? Where did it go? Very vanilla, where are you? Let's see here. Where is my... What did I do with my card? Card contents. All right. Well, I guess I'll show you how to cut this card completely then. Right. So, I'm going to have a piece of boho blue. A piece of very vanilla. 
and a piece of copper clay. Just kind of try and use all the new ink colors here. I need a little piece of copper clay ribbon. And our layering leaves stamp set and our copper clay Baja Blue and um, what other color do I want to use here? Copper clay Baja Blue and you know I think I'm going to change this up. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to use Lost Lagoon, not Baja Blue. I was wondering why that was off. That's why, because it's Lost Lagoon. Alright, where's my Lost Lagoon here? Where'd the piece go? That's not my breaks. Okay, Lost Lagoon, where are you? Part of cells, that's why. Again, I don't know what is with me. I feel like I'm walking backwards all of a sudden. Alright, and I need my Lost Lagoon stamp pad. And I need one lighter color, so I'm going to pull in my most favorite color in the entire world, petal pink. Woohoo! <laughs> I know you all are laughing at me right now. I get it. <sighs> petal pink and I are just, you know, we're not, we're not best friends. We're acquaintances at most. Okay, and let's see, the other piece I need is a scrap piece of my petal pink. And, um... I dropped it on the floor, so I'm looking for it. And where did it go? There it is. Found it. So you're gonna get a little scrap piece. Oh, that's not perfect. You're gonna get a little scrap. You're gonna get a punched out shape, actually, not a scrap piece. All right. And I need my dies. In here. Okay. So. I am going to grab my label die. I'm going to grab this one right here. Again, this is going to be done for you, so you won't have to worry about that. And, oh, I have too much stuff right in front of me right now. Okay, I need this to be five and a quarter. Oh, you know, I wonder if I already had that cut. I thought I had all this cut. I do, I do, I do. Here it is. Here it is. And I have this one messed up. Okay. Okay. So this needs to be trimmed. Because again, I forgot my piece. All right. So we have a piece that's going to be four by four and a quarter. All right. So that's going to go right there. And then we have a piece of berry vanilla, and this is going to be four by three and three quarters. Oh, for pizza. No, that still has to be four and a quarter. So three and three quarters by four and a quarter. I want it to go all the way to the edge. All right. So we have just a little bit of our last lagoon showing. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our background on our very vanilla. So we'll pull back in our scrap piece of paper here. Which one? I don't know. I feel like every time I go and grab a scrap piece of paper, it's a different piece of paper. All right. We're going to stamp um, some of the leaves. So we're going to be stamping this. Now I got this idea actually from, um, what is her, Erin Leach. That's what it was. So this was not my original idea. Just saying. All right. And then I want, I want, I want, I want, I want a solid leaf. So we'll put this one on a block. 
And then I want this other leaf that kind of matches this. All right, so I've got three images right now. And we're going to start with our Lost Lagoon. So our Lost Lagoon is going to be the full leaf image. And I'm just going to stamp a couple. Again, we're just making our own designer series paper here. Usually when I do this, I usually do a full sheet of vanilla. And then I stamp all around. But for the sake of the video and time, we're just going to do it here. All right, so then I'm going to come back in with my copper clay. And I'm going to do this other one. And I'm trying to go in some different directions. Oh, well, that didn't work well, did it? Uh, let's see there. Yeah, just some of these other gaps. I don't know what I did there. All right. And then we're going to take our petal party, our petal pink, and just fill in these other spaces here. Again, normally, like I said, I do this as a full sheet. And it doesn't matter if I'm overlapping some of the other ones. Now, to add just a little bit to this card, I'm going to take my little spots here, and we're going to do it in Lost Lagoon, but I'm going to be stamping off quite a bit. So, this is pretty dark, so I'm going to go one, two, three. Right. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. I think that oh, I'll do one more here. One, one, and that's all I need. Okay. I know I usually say stop after the one, but I knew that one had to be there. All right, let's clean up our mess here. Holy cow, I got ink everywhere. Messy girl tonight. All right. Okay, so we've got all those done. So I'm going to adhere this right here, just like that. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm out. There's another one. Hopefully this one's best a minute. Yep. Right. Here we go. Again, if my side, if, if I didn't cut right, I can always trim that down right now. Now. Have that there. I think this one's a little bit long. Let me see. I think I'm going to have to trim that one down. Oh well. All right. I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon here. So I just want to have this go right around the back. I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals so I don't have to have a really long piece in ribbon. And actually, let's do a cheater bow. So, not a cheetah bow, but a cheetah knot. So, I'm just going to tie a knot right here. Get to be a nice, pretty knot. There we go. 
see, and then we're going to use our tape. And we're going to wrap this right around our edge here. Take that down. Put that straight. Trim that down. All right. I'm doing that because, like I said, I'm going to put dimensionals on here. I'm going to pop this up. I know, I'm kind of dimensional happy tonight. That's all right. There's 300 on a sheet, you know, in a package, so it's all good. Plus, there's actually more because you can use all the pieces in it. And I'm just going to get this right to the edge. So this, for me, is a challenge. Um, I don't always cut straight, so sometimes my edge hangs over a little bit. And that, well, that is my challenge. All right, and here, I don't have my bow over far enough. So let's just, let's see. Now that should work. I need to actually pick this up and move my bowl over. There we go. It just wasn't far enough over to allow for my label. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to die cut this label out of our petal pink which went where it had to be here somewhere there it is since i'm going to use my mini die cut machine i'm just going to trim that just like that all right Put this right through, and we're going to stamp on it, and put that right on, and that is going to be our card. Right. I don't know why I struggled so, so long tonight. I do apologize. Sorry it took me longer than I was really planning on. I really thought this was going to be very fast tonight. Okay, so... We're going to just send um, best wishes. All right, you know what? Let's do sending hugs. I think sending hugs will be really cute for a birthday card. Yep, sending hugs. That's what it's going to be. I'm going to stamp it in clay, like copper clay. Hello would work. Think of you, best wishes, whatever you want to do for a birthday card. So I like kind of sending hugs. Okay. We'll go two dimensionals. Yeah, maybe three. Maybe four. All right. So ideally, I don't want to put dimensionals right across the middle here because that's where my ribbon's going to sit. So it's going to kind of get a little topsy turvy if I do that. So I'm just going to make sure I'm putting it like kind of at the bottom here. Oh. All right, that should be good. All right. All right, now for embellishment. These classic matte dots do have um, vanilla in them. <laughs> Unfortunately, I used all my vanilla on another project. So I'm going to just use, um, I don't know, I'll just use a white for right now. Actually, I could take that blend I had out earlier and color it. So I would use the vanilla ones on here. But again, since I didn't keep any vanilla. I'm just using this flesh colored one here and it kind of just tones it down from white to be more like a vanilla. Get the jar real quick and just start putting them 
Well, your card. Wherever you want to put them. Right. Oh, you put one right there. Oh, right there. Come on. There we go. Now put another one right over there. Okay. So there you go. So let's pull out all the different cards for tonight. Again, this class is free with a $35 purchase in my online store. If you place a $50 purchase, and you must use the host code for tonight, then you'll get a pack of the classic matte dots. There's the host code. Um, let me just get all this stuff out of the way so I can grab the other projects. Here is our birthday card. Our monkey card. And then, of course, we can't forget our little construction zone card. So, thanks for joining me tonight. Thanks for putting up with me. Sorry it took a little bit longer than planned. Uh, have a great weekend. Make sure you spend it with, you know, quality people. People who love you and that you love. Have a great time. Take care and be safe. Love you all. Bye.